The Lord Lieutenant shall call the Stratiotes unto their urns, where they that draw the silver balls shall return unto their places, and they that draw the gold balls shall fall off to the pavilion. Wherefore, the space of one hour, they may chop and change the, their balls according as one can agree with another whose lot he likes better. But the hour being out, the conductor separating them whose gold balls have no letter from those whose balls are marked, shall cause the crier to call the alphabet uh, as first A, whereupon all they whose gold balls are to be marked with those surnames begin with the letter A, shall repair unto the clerk appertaining unto the custos rotolorum, who shall first take the names of that letter, then those of B, and so forth, till the names are be alphabet alphabetically enrolled, and the youth of this list being 600 in tribe, in a tribe foot, that uh, is 30,000 foot in all the tribes, and 200 in all, and 200 in a tribe horse, that is 10,000 horse in all the tribes, are the second essay of the Stratiotes of the standing army of this commonwealth, to be always ready unto command to march. They whose balls are marked with M, amounting by twenty horse and fifty foot in a tribe, unto two thousand five hundred foot and five hundred horse in all the tribes, and they whose balls are marked with P, in every point correspondent, are parts of the third essay. They are of a, they of M being forthwith to march for Marpesia, and they of P for uh, Panopea. To the end, and according to the further directions following in the order of the provincial orbs. If the poll marks or field officers be elected by the scrutiny of the council of war, and the strategus commanded by the parliament or the dictator to march, the lords lieutenants, who have power to muster and discipline the youth so often as they receive orders for the same from the council of war are to deliver the second essay or so may or so many of them as shall be commanded unto the conductors who shall present them unto the lord strategus at the time and place appointed by his excellency to be the general rendezvous of oceana where the council of war shall have the accommodation of horses and arms for his men in readiness and the lord strategus having armed mounted and distributed them whether according unto the recommendation of their prize arms or otherwise, shall lead them away unto his shipping, being also ready and prove, provided with victuals, ammunition, artillery, and all other necess ne necessaries, commanding them in dis uh, disposing of the whole conduct of the war by his sole power and authority. And this is the third essay of the Stratiotes, which, being shipped, or marched out of their tribes, the Lord's lieutenants shall re-elect the second essay out of the remaining part of the first, and the Senate another strategus. If any veteran or veterans of this nation, the term of whose youth or militia is expired, having a desire to be entertained in the further service of the commonwealth, shall present him or themselves at the rendezvous of Oceana unto the strategus, it is in his power to take on such and so many of them as shall be consented unto by the polemarchs, and to send back an equal number of the stratiotes. And for the better managing of the proper forces of this nation, the Lord strategus, by appointment of the council of war, and out of such levies as they shall have made in either or both of the provinces unto that end shall receive auxiliaries at sea or elsewhere at some certain place not exceeding his proper arms in number and whosoever shall refuse any one of his three essays except upon cause shown to be dispensed with all by the phylarch or if the phylarch be not assembled by the censors of this tribe shall be deemed an helot 
or public servant, pay one-fifth of his yearly revenue besides all other taxes unto the commonwealth for his protection, and be incapable of bearing magistracy except such as is proper to the law. Nevertheless, if a man have but two sons, the Lord Lieutenant shall not suffer above one of them to come unto the urn at one election of the second essay, and though he have above two sons, there shall not come above half the brothers at one election, and if a man have but one son, he shall not come unto the urn at all without the consent of his parents or his guardians, nor shall it be any reproach unto him or impediment unto his bearing of magistracy.